What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we have got a gameplay with the new Pink Diamond Pascal Siakam card. So, to be completely honest, 2K left an awful lot to be desired with these new batches of cards. So today, we only got three players. One of them is a Ruby Point card, which I might end up seeing. Well, I'm gonna check tomorrow anyway. I'm gonna be using this guy in my budget squad. I haven't used him yet, and I probably won't use him today. And it is a guy that actually could be a beast. It is Shea Gildas Alexander. He has got five gold badges. I wish they gave him at least one or two Hall of Fame badges, but he is a 6'6 long point guard. He has got a great shot, made a good shot three. A decent dunk, can speed boost, obviously. Has got not a great steal and shot contest rating. However, it's fast, got great lateral quickness, and has got solid on ball defensive IQ. Supposedly, he's a lockdown defender in game, but uh, stats are kind of meh. So I might use him in my budget squad and see how he is, but I'm not that hopeful for this card. And then we've got a small forward diamond. And we already have a 95 overall diamond Kawhi Leonard. So I don't really think that a 94 overall diamond Kawhi Leonard is the most relevant thing in the world. Especially when I think he either has the same or less Hall of Fame badges. And his three point shot is less I think. So I'm not that excited about this card. Maybe if we get a pink diamond playoffs Kawhi will be a little bit better. But this card is not great to be completely honest. So the only one that we got that was of any real relevance was Pascal Siakam. So the team we are running with is Magic Johnson at the 1, Paul George at the 2, James at the 3, Siakam at the 4, and Robinson at the 5. The bench, we've got LeBron at the 1, Durant at the 2, Karolanko at the 3, Kamala at the 4, and Blake Griffin at the 5. But Arvita Sabonis, Giannis, and Larry Bird rounding off the bench. So yeah, this is quite a nice team. And now let's go over the stats of Siakam. So Pascal Siakam, 98-99. He has got 10 Hall of Fame badges, one more fast break. Rim protector, pick dodger, defense stopper, plus rebounder, difficult shots, pick and popper, pick and roller, tear dropper, and catch and shoot. He's got a post hook and fader rating, both of 88, good driving layup, good standing layup, good open shot, made of 94. Good open shot, three of 94 as well. If he's open, he probably won't miss because his release is good. Good dunker. Unfortunately, he can't speed boost. 70 block, even though he's got Hall of Fame rim protector, is a little bit strange. 6'9 for power forward, so a little bit undersized, especially because. If you're looking at like the other elite 6'9 power forwards, you're looking at Kyle Kuzma, who can speed boost. And then if you look at a lot of other ones, you're looking at Josh Smith, who can speed boost, cards like that. So you're, you'd be kind of hoping this guy can speed boost, but he can shoot a lot better than, well, Smith anyway. He shoots fairly similar to Kuzma, but unfortunately he can't speed boost. He's got great rebounding stats, got great speed and acceleration. Speed of ball isn't the best, which doesn't really help too much because he's got one man fast breaks, one of his Hall of Fame badges. But he does have great lateral quickness, great on ball, and low post defensive IQ. So he should be quite a nice card anyway. So, yep, yeah, this is the team we are running with. Siakam seems really good stats wise. Now let's go over to Hot Zones for this card. Then we're going to get on to the game. So, Siakam has got Hot Zones almost everywhere um, inside the three, as well as three spots outside the three. Siakam's release, it's not a short release, but it's not too long. When he's open, it is completely money. I'm guessing. No, he doesn't have any limitless by the looks of it, so I'm gonna actually put that on him after this shoot around. I wasn't the biggest fan of his Amethyst and Ruby card, even though a lot of people did like him and they couldn't miss with those cards. Siakam was not my favorite card in the world. But he should be quite a nice dunker, should be really versatile, should be able to defend almost anybody, should be decent in the post, and should be able to hit some shots. So anyway, now it's just green one three, and come on. Now let's get out to the game. Okay, so we're playing against an all right team here. Attack hard. Fake. Burn him. Pick him up. And put in the hook. Good job, Siakam. Oh, he's actually a Hall of Fame difficult shot, so I can pull up for shots like that. Although the shot contest is a little bit of a problem with that. I'm not a fan of the new shot contest mechanic. I understand it needed to be buffed a little bit. But like now you're in some in just a general area. You don't need to even be half contesting the shot and a red series of shot contest. Step through. Oh, actually step through. Come on. Good job, Siakam. Siakam wide open for three. Knocks it down. And the game just ended. So Siakam, seven points, three of five. Let's play the next game. Alright, so we're playing against a weird team. Terrell Bailey at small forward. The goat, the former goat Hilo Turkaloo. Ruby um, Hakeem. What? What the hell is this type of team? Okay, there's no not much of a contest there, and he knocks down the three. 
Nice spin. Puts it up. And what a finish by Siakam over Porzingis. Straight to the basket. Puts it up. And he floats it up over Thurl Bailey. Like, what? What type of start to the game is this? Great job, Siakam. And come on. This happened again, really? It hasn't happened for days. Not great team, but if he has Ginobili, he's obviously a decent enough player. See, Akam's there, and he gets jammed on. Yeah, he's that Hall of Fame rim protector and all that, but he's been dunked on a couple of times. He's not the best uh, rim protector in the game. Giannis is there with the contest, and is off. And Bob Love is completely locked down his Guardium, so this is going to be quite tricky to get much with him. Good shot there, though. Green light. Good job, back to a two-point game. I haven't conceded 10 points this quickly in a long, long time. Good pass. Easy dunk for Magic. Let's go. Going right to the basket. Nice dunk there by Siakam. Let's go. Five early points. Siakam's got a step on him, does he? Mid-range. Knocks it down. There we go. Like, we're doing a good job on offense. We're just not playing anything that even resembles defense. But that was good defense there for us in the air ball. Oh my god, Magic. That's a terrible job or attempt at getting a rebound. Oh, we got a straight line to the basket. Easy dunk there for Siakam. Can't pass up this or... Okay. Siakam draws a foul. All right, let's see what the free throw is like. 90 rating, good release. Not bad at all. Ooh, he's got takeover now. A pull up. Tough shot. And he knocks it down in Draymond's face. And we have not played anything that even resembles good defense. Our offense has been more than solid, though. Kind of makes up for it. We got him. Did we? Spin him. Okay, we literally used the offensive, fell him, pushed him out of the way. But that's a good uh, finish by Siakam. Siakam. Okay. He's leaked out, and he's made the layup. That'll do. 18 first quarter points. Steal. Straight to Carmelo. Easy dunk. Blake Griffin is so much better than Carmelo. Like, so many people are trying to argue Carmelo's better. Blake is way better. Malone's just 6'9", is just too small to be, like, a legitimate, like, super team card. Built up a 10-point lead. Durant pulls up on the break, knocks down a three. Really bad shot, and somehow it goes in from Siakam. That is the third one of those he's hitting this game. Siakam, you were wide open for three. Okay, he hit the mid. That's fine. He can't, like, he's literally, if he's wide open, he can hit shots. But with the new shot contest, his release is just so long. Three ball. Come on, catch that quicker. Oh my god, it took him too long to catch the ball. And this guy is letting the pause. Pause time run out, I think. We get that bottom to the basket. Swatted. Up again. Swatted again. Stolen. Toss it up. Oh my god. You have Hall of Fame Lob City Passer. You, How did you throw that far off him? There was nobody there, Magic. That was ridiculous. Let's go. I'm literally just trying to stop him from being cold, and we throw the ball straight to Greg Oden. Siakam started off so well. He had 18 in the first quarter. Then he came straight out and went 2 for 2, I think, to start the third. And he has now just got his 24th point with 3 minutes to go. Oh my god. He cannot st get steals. Right, the magic. Tried to see Akim. He's going to step on him. Easy dunk. Let's go. Nice finish there, see Akim. All right, he's had a better fourth quarter. A much better fourth quarter already than he had third quarter. Straight to the basket. See Akim jams it on Clyde Drexler. Back hard. See Akim open for three. Green light. Let's go. Stop. Wait for the screen. So, not on, fade away, knocks it down. So, in the end, Siakam at 35 points, shot just over 50% from the field. However, you go six, it was just the fourth, sorry, the third quarter. Like, 7 of 10 in the first half was really good. 7 of 10 in the first quarter for 18 points. 
terrible uh, second, sorry, third quarter and had a very solid fourth quarter there with 13 points. Not the worst game in the world, but not the best game either. So anyway, that's the video. How good do I think the Siakam is? Uh, all right, I guess. Like there are much, much better power forwards. His release is just slow. And I think with the new shot contest patch, slow releases are really, really just bad because everything's contested no matter what. Even if you think you're open, you're not open with a slow release. And that's just a reality. If it was meant to nerf base 11, and if anything, in my opinion, it made base 11 more OP. Obviously base 11, you can't shoot literally over people anymore with it. But the fact is, is that it's, you're a lot more likely to get open releases with a good, with a fast release. And it's very, very hard to get open shots with slow release, which is what Siakam has. He, his defense leaves a lot to be desired because I know he's got good Hall of Fame badges. However, look at this. Like, not a great block, not a great steal. And he good, but not exceptional shot contest. And is also a little bit small for power four position. A good card, yes. One of the best two or three power forwards in the game, no. If he's anything more in the buyout, definitely, definitely not worth it. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.